Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about half bridge and channel power MOSFET driver. Okay, we will understand how you design this circuit by using LT1158 and how this LT1158 drives both high side MOSFET and the low side MOSFET right and the later i'll run the simulation and i'll show you the different waveforms so if you are new to this channel and you want to learn more about the lt spice simulation and hardware design you can join the channel mentorship program so let us first understand how will you design this circuit okay half bridge and channel power mosfet okay in order to design the n channel power mosfet gate driver i have used this ic is called lt1158 so this ic is basically a half bridge gate driver ic okay and you can see here i have used two two mosfet power mosfet m1 and m2 m1 is called high side mosfet and m2 is called low side mosfet right so let us say you want to drive any motor or any inductive load and you want to drive by using half bridge topology so you need to have some kind of gate driver in order to drive your power mosfet so you can see this is the gate signal vg1 and this is the gate signal vg2 so i am giving both vg1 and vg2 by using this lt1158 gate driver ic okay so this is this is m1 is high side mosfet and m2 is low side mosfet and you can see here r1 is current sense okay so the voltage drop across this resistance r1 is being sensed by this sense plus pin and sense minus pin and this is r2 and it is load of 2 ampere okay high side mosfet low side mosfet current sense and this is the load okay and you can see the gate of m1 is connected with t gate and t gate fb pin here the gate of m2 is connected to b gate and b gate fp pin and you can see here the sense plus and sense minus pin is connected to the the resistance r1 and this is the t source pin you can see here and it is connected to the source of source of m1 since m1 is high side mosfet you need to connect the source of this m1 to the t source pin in order to shift the the driving level okay and you can see this is the boot boost dr pin and this is the boost pin that means both are the boost trap pin and you can see i have used in4148 you can use low leakage diode here so for the simulation purpose i and you i have used in4148 but even you can use any better diode which could be which could have low leakage current and and i have used this diode and this boost trapping capacitor c5 is called the boost trapping capacitor and later you see here this is the fault sensing pin if there is a fault in the load or any circuitry there might be high current and this will sense the fault sensing and the enable pin are tied together and connected with one microfarad capacitor and this is your input vg1 small vg1 okay you can see this is the input which i am giving to the plus terminal v plus pin of lt1158 and you can see this is the capacitor and the same 24 volt by using this 24 volt i am driving the mosfet so the supply for this lt1158 and the mosfet drain voltage uh, are both are uh, the same right and let us talk about here this signal from micro so let us say you want to drive your mosfet by using microcontroller so microcontroller will have the driving control so this signal is basically you can see i have used the pulse and since you know 
the pulse signal from microcontroller could be 5 volt or 3.3 volt so for this simulation purpose i have used 5 volt rise time 1 nanosecond fall time is 1 nanosecond and the t on is 0.008 millisecond t off is 0.01 millisecond so i am using here the 60 kilohertz frequency in order to drive this mosfet okay so this is basically a signal from microcontroller and what you see in this driver is i am using a single pin of microcontroller okay so you see here this is the single pin of microcontroller which gives the pwm signal to the input of this lt15 1158 okay so this is the this is the driving from microcontroller to the gate driver by using only one pin okay so you should always remember so i'm giving only one pulse from microcontroller to input of this great gate driver and this gate driver generate the complementary signal to in order to drive the high side mosfet and the low side mosfet okay so this is all about the circuits now let us go back and let us understand a bit of the data sheet for lt1158 so i would like to thanks linear technology for developing this kind of chip okay so the credit goes to the linear technology and you see here this is the data sheet of lt1158 half bridge and channel power mosfet if you see here they have given the features for this driver they have given the supply voltage 5 volt to 30 volt you can operate and you can also see the driving current is gate driving current is 500 milliampere and if you look at the application it can be used the high current inductive loads application half bridge or full bridge motor control application step down switching regulators okay three phase brushless dc motor high high current transducer driver battery operators logic level mosfet and if you look at the description you can see the different feature of this particular ic okay so you can see this ic continuously limit the current and it helps in the short circuit protection okay it is it it has also sensed the fault internally and you can see it has the fixed gate to source voltage which is 14.5 so this is basically all about the data sheet of lt1158 now let us go back and let us run the simulation and let us show the different waveform for this design so i what i will do is i'll go to simulate button edit simulation command and for the simulation purpose stop time i selected the transient and stop time is one millisecond okay just i'll click ok so once i click ok i'll go this run button and i click on this so here you go so this is the run button and let me first show you the input signal so this is basically a, your input signal which is from 0 to 5 volt and it is coming from the microcontroller right so this is your input signal and now let me show you the gate to source voltage right so this is your vg2 and let me show you the vg1 okay you can see this is blue one is vg1 and the green one is vg2 you can see there is a dead time between there is a dead time between vg1 and vg2 there is some dead time but you can also see here is the amplitude of vg2 is bit higher than the amplitude of vg1 okay so so if i check the amplitude of vg1 it's around here you go it's around 12.89 volt let me show you the output voltage how it looks like so let me click on here so you see here your output voltage is from 0 volt you can see right away to 24 volt let me show you the current flowing through this load and if you look at the current it's it is 2 ampere current you can see clearly if you want to check the the voltage drop across this resistance you can see it's around the maximum let me delete the current so that you can check and it's around 
30.3 30 milliwatt okay so thank you guys if you have any further question on this topic half bridge and channel power mosfet driver feel free to ask me in comment section thank you so much for watching it